Hey, Orange One here. So in this video, you're going to see me going over weapons and armor uh, and kind of talking about the different tiers as well as um, where you can get the weapons. The, so basically, when we're talking about weapons, uh, you've got on the right side of your inventory screen here, uh, you've got your weapons, and then on the left side, you've got your armor. Uh, you can see the values for the armor, which is going to show you essentially how much protection you're getting. Um, against attacks. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If you've got like cutting one-handed weapons, they're not going to do, do too well against heavy armor. But if you have like, um, if we look at like the city, let's see. If we look at like their weapons that they have available here, if we look at some of these things like here, that's like a blunt weapon, that's going to do more damage against someone who's got like heavy uh, body protection. So um, something that you want to look at here is the armor tier. That basically, kind of like troop tiers, tells you how good it is. So these boots, they're okay. They're pretty good. They're tier three. Um, these mittens, though, they're very, they're very nice. Uh, this is a very nice uh, piece of armor here, and you can see it's worth a lot of uh, dinars as well. So basically, when you're looking at armor. If you're trying to compare your armor to some other armor, like uh, in a town or something, you want to look at the tier. Here we have some armor for sale that is the same tier as my current armor, uh, but it's pretty expensive because I'm buying it, right? Uh, you can equip things directly from here if you click on this button. If you click here and then you click there, you can equip it or you can kind of just see what it looks like as well. It's just kind of a neat little feature. Um, but yeah, it's basically all about tier quality. In general, tier 6 is very hard to come by. And it actually kind of lines up with your tier levels of your troops. So if you look at uh, like here, these guys, they're tier 1 troops. So they're going to have mostly tier 1 gear, right? If I have someone that's a higher tier, Though, I've got pretty low tier troops with me right now, but if you look at this guy right here, they are a tier 4 unit, so they're going to have more tier 4 armor and weapons. So it's just something that's kind of interesting how it kind of lines up like that. And if we click on these guys, we can see that you've got the different tier levels, right? Like you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But there's actually, you can get up to tier 6 if we're looking at like... Um, we're looking at like the sorry uh i think it's these guys yeah if we're looking at their noble chain you can go all the way from one two three four and then this is actually a tier or actually it skips a tier level but it starts at tier two okay i see and then it ends at tier six so the highest level that you get here you get tier six from that noble line these guys will have like your tier six gear that you would get from that said faction so if you want tier 6 gear, you'll want to hunt those units, so you want to be hunting lords that have those units. So if I look at here, I can see that they have uh, a couple of those units, but it's a lot of them are recruits and not that good of uh, units, so they're not going to have that good of gear. If I were to like attack them and loot them, I wouldn't get that good of gear. Um, so here's the main options in my mind. Of getting gear the first one I'm gonna go with is the easiest that's getting married so with this character I believe I just got married to Anita and I'll have a separate tutorial video on how to get married um, it's pretty straightforward it's very similar to it was in Warband but basically I got married to this character and because they're from a faction they actually already have really good gear so if you go to them and get them to come into your party, you can actually just steal their gear. So if I switch over to my wife character, she's she, this is what she came with. Like, very good armor. It's pretty much the same quality armor as what I've got, to be honest. But like, look, they've got full barding for their horse. They've got like a tier 5 shield, um, tier 6 sword, right? Like, look, they've got some good stuff. So that's my wife character. If I wanted to, I could just be like, hey, uh, that's mine, right? And then I could go over to my character and equip that to myself. 
So that's one way of getting like tier six weapons, which you can come by in the in the world, but it's kind of rare. Uh, so the marriage is the easiest, most reliable way to do it, but you have to kind of you know get married, which takes a number of prerequisites. Uh, the other is looting, so attacking um, troops from factions that have the right tiered troops. Um, and it, it, that's that's kind of hard though because usually those troops are in pretty big armies because you have to have the experience so you're gonna have to be taking on a pretty big army to get some good armor like that unless it's a small group of um those noble troop trees like uh some fians from batania or something like that um another thing the you know the wherever i you probably already looked at it is that you can go into these places and you can look at the weapons now you can sort by value, which is gonna put the highest tier stuff at the top. And so the top stuff is gonna be here. Now this place right here has an amazing, amazing selection of weapons. Uh, probably if you go to a random city, you're not gonna see so many fives, fours, threes, or sixes. Like this is just absolutely bananas. Now this city, um, has, there's some reasons why it's got such good stuff. A uh, part of that has to do with the fact that um, Koyaz right here, I believe, uh, has had a lot of fighting going on it around it. So there's been some warfare around it. And then there's also um, the fact that we've got this ironmonger. So I built a smith in this city specifically so that I could have good armor on the front for my war and good uh, weapons being made here. So we've got some really good stuff being made out of the city. This city right here, it doesn't by default have a smith because if you look at its villages, they produce fish, olives, and flax. It's, you know, it's, it's a nice city. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's not really set up for... Um, a smith. Now if you want a city that's actually set up uh, good for having a smith, you want to look at like Marinath right here. They have um, iron ore right there, so they're going to be able to produce stuff right there um, pretty cheaply. So they'll be make like the, um, the store would make more profit. Now I've found that the quality of the gear here is plenty sufficient, so as long as you've got smithies, it should be okay. Like, you'll have some pretty good stuff being produced at those cities, but it also helps to have high prosperity. Um, as this is something that was the case in Warband. I'm assuming that's the case in this game as well. But basically, this city right here, it's, um, it's doing pretty well. Doing a little bit better than some other cities, um, if we look at the prosperity of them. Oh, that place is, there's currently a battle going at, on at it. I don't know if I can look at the prosperity from afar, but um, this city, if we look at it, um, I have achieved this, this prosperity. So it even tells you like, hey, this is a pretty prosperous place. Um, so you want cities that are rich and that have smiths. So if you find one that has a smith, you can either make it richer, or you can find a city that's rich and put a smith in it, and you'll get a good selection of tier 6 and 5 for sale there. Um, there is also something else to keep in mind. Um, hideouts like this, if you go and clear out a hideout, um, I'm not going to do that in this video. I, I, again, might have a separate video that I do on how to clear out uh, bandit lairs um, and hideouts, but these places... Uh, it's in the tutorial. Um, you can duel the leader, and if you beat the leader, you can get some of their gear. They can have like tier five gear I've seen. I haven't seen tier six, but if you go to these hideouts and you clear them out and you kill the bandit leader, you can get some pretty good stuff from them. Um, mountain bandits, they're not gonna have the best gear by and large, like the, the units, because the mountain bandits themselves aren't that higher of a tier of unit. I wonder if, I think I could probably find them in here. Um, mountain bandit boss or hero, no, that's not it. Um, here we go, so we've got force bandits right there. 
let's just go to like force bandit so you can see they actually have um a couple different tiers so yeah Yeah, so if you... Sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought there. So you can go and attack these places. You can get some gear from the random raiders here. Uh, but if you want some pretty good gear, go and go check out the sea, uh, sea raiders. They're up in the northern part of the map. They're um, kind of like the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The... Um, <laughs> well, that was nice. Cool. Um, basically, they're the Nords and the uh sea raiders from um the old game from warband and if you attack them they're gonna have some pretty good gear so they're gonna be tough to kill but on the flip side they're gonna have some good gear right so you can get uh i'm trying to see if i can find some of them but it's taking me a while because i've got such a big slow army Why are these dudes chasing me are they really gonna try and fight me that's like really dumb I'm trying to just find some bandits. Um, there's mountain bandits up here, uh, but there should be some sea uh, raiders or whatever. I'm starting to get a big following here, but you kind of get the idea is that these bandits can have some better gear so you can go after them. Uh, it gets you stuff that's better than looters. It's a nice little middle ground before you can go after the higher tier stuff. Um, also, one more thing that I forgot to talk about. I've got a whole video um, where I talk about tournaments, and I think I did a tournament in my first or second episode, but if you win tournaments, you can get, like, tier 6 or tier 5 gear. I've also seen, like, 3 and 4 as the rewards are kind of inconsistent, but I think they'll get that patched out as the game gets further in development. Um, yeah, you'll get, like, the Thamaskeen steel weapon that we were looking at, um, earlier. I, it was one of the weapons that was in the store. Um, you can get stuff like that from tournaments as well as smiths. To be honest, I haven't played around much with smiths, so I don't feel comfortable uh, speaking about that yet. Um, but yeah, if you've got any further questions, let me know. This has been Orange One.